Hello everyone, my name is Angelo Saracino, and I'm a support engineer here at Railway. Today, we'll be talking about Metro. Metro is Railway's major product feature update that brings multi-service projects to the platform, along with many other features. In this video, we're going to be walking through all the new features that we shipped in the past, how to get access to them, and most of all, what was our rationale in building these features and how we think it can help you. Today, we'll be walking through deploying a mono repo where we actually have folders with two different languages. Our backend is written in Go, a tiny little JIN service here, and our front end, which is a React TypeScript front end. So let's get started deploying our mono repo using the classic interface. I've saved some time here and I've already linked our repo together, but I'll walk through any settings or additional options that you might not have been aware of in the classic interface. So if we go over to our triggers here in the product deployments menu, you can see that after I've linked my GitHub repo, I'm prompted on which root directory I wish to deploy. Initially, projects would only map to one service. We would encourage teams to spin up additional projects if they wanted to spin up related services. Now, that's a little bit of an issue. If you wanted to jump between two related services within the same repo, it wasn't exactly a fun experience. We patched this with the custom start command flow as you see here. However, we have an additional application front end that we might want to deploy. This interface started hitting our limits very quickly. In addition, we've gathered a lot of customer feedback, comments from users saying that they were kind of unsure about the organization and hierarchy of certain settings. We've worked on making it so that these settings are more legible to understand on where you're kind of affecting each piece of behavior. So let's go jump ahead and upgrade our project to Metro. Metro projects behave differently than the classic interface counterparts. Rowway Up behaves a little different now since there's multiple services to deploy to. Variable and metrics, as mentioned, are now scoped to the service. And new environments will deploy complete replicas of every single service made. To illustrate this, we have a prompt here that kind of tells us what will happen whenever we convert to Metro. In addition, it will also remind us that this is a one-way operation. Let's move ahead and press convert over here. So we've completed our transition and now we're brought straight to our project canvas. I have the service open on our panel here, but I've renamed the project to something less vampiric. We'll do that soon with the service. As you can see here, our deployments pane is now completely reimagined. We now added deploy logs and filtering so I can search through any successful service right within the deployment menu. Let's go see how our service is doing. I can click in and see that our backend is operable and working just as normal. But there are a few differences on how Metro behaves when it deals with services. Before, in the deployments pane, you'd have to navigate to a domain settings within the project. But now domains are scoped exactly to the service. We don't exactly have a custom domain to add yet, but this would be the area where you would want to add a custom domain for that one service. Variables are now scoped only to the service and do not share between the services. And over here is where the magic happens when it comes to deploying monorepo services. I'm gonna rename the service name to something more accurate. We'll call it backend. But as you can see here, we now have the root directory menu and the start command within the service settings menu. All right, let's get to deploying a new service within the project. I can press Command K anywhere in the project to begin the new service flow. And then I'm prompted with three additional options. I can either pick from a GitHub repo and navigate to the correct directory to deploy a new service, deploy a database, which is our new name for plugins here, or an empty service. The best way to think about empty services are deployment targets for our client to look into so we can push up code to. I'm gonna go drag in our terminal here and link to our project here. Select the right team, select the project name, and then LS just to make sure we're in the right area and then change directory to our front end. Before, when you would type in railway up, if there's only one service, we will just push directly to that service. But now since there's two services, we're prompted on which service to pick to. We're gonna pick our new empty service and deploy. 
Through the power of movie magic, our deployment is done. We're going to click into our empty service here and see whether or not it is all live and ready. There it is. So now we can see that our front end is talking directly to our back end service. How so? I can click in to our back end and see in our active deployment that we are actually making requests and we made a successful get request to our albums there. Let's go add something just to make sure that everything's working as we expect. So I'm going to put in our new album title. I press submit and notice that my album was added directly to the back end. And to show that there's no trickery here, the post request was successful in our back end. This is our example of multi-service projects working within Metro. And there's a few other features that we also have here as well. If you see here, Metro looks wonderful on small screen devices where you can actually navigate deploy logs straight through your phone. We think it's really cool and it helps you leave the laptop at home. Other aspects of Metro that make it really awesome working with Teams is a new activity pane. Every single action done within this tutorial and even all of our mistakes that I kind of were corrected for is now navigatable through this new activity pane. For now, it doesn't exactly prescribe which user within your team has done an action, but it's a really good starting point for us to really keep teams together. Lastly, I want to talk a little bit about the global project settings within Metro. As mentioned, services now have their own scope settings. But for projects like changing the project name and inviting teammates now has a completely redesigned experience with the new project settings pane. You can add additional environments, invite members, delete services, and manage your tokens and integrations all from a single pane of glass. And that's Metro. We think Metro is going to be a new way of how people will think about the organization of their deployments. From here, we can help you visualize how services talk to each other, help enforce project level spend caps, and even have improved ways on how we can handle the variable and secrets process for teams and hobbyist developers alike. We think it's a vast improvement on the product that Railway is today and will help us build us a better foundation for the future. If you've been using Railway throughout this time, we think you'll be benefiting greatly from these features. And if you've been hesitant, we hope this is a perfect time for you to come aboard. That's all we have for this video, and I hope to see you around in our Discord. And if you have any questions, be sure to send any pieces of feedback on our Railway Canny board or our Discord. We're always looking out for every single one of our users on or off the platform. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.